Good evening, folks. All right, this is my first time doing this. Um, so I'm Dormain. I'm with PagerDuty these days. And this is a collection of some learnings and observations that I've made from working with organizations as they adopt platforms, as well as being a product marketing professional. But before we get into it, first of all, take a bow. Congratulations. For the purposes of this talk, I'm going to assume that you've already done all the hard work to build a fantastic platform. It's scalable, it's resilient, it tastes like chocolate, but you're not Steve Jobs. So even if you're wearing a black turtleneck the day that your platform becomes available, for some reason people aren't lining up to come run their workload on it. So what's happening there? What's broken? Um, it's not a field of dreams. There aren't people like walking out of cornfields, which is a very weird thing to think about. If you think about it too much, I don't recommend it. So you've got to actually do some other work here. So we'll break it down. You're going to have to get the word out. We'll talk a little bit about that. You're going to have to work one-on-one -on -one with some teams. And you're going to have to think about, OK, what is the journey that people need to take to get onto my platform? And you're going to have to do these things again and again. It's going to feel like work. It's going to feel like this is now my job, because it is part of your job. So you kind of have to just embrace that. OK, so one of the first things that you're going to want to really get your mind around is that not everything you do is going to scale. And this is something that a lot of engineers I talk to, they really they want that efficient, automated, perfect solution, and they want to keep trying to find that. And it's like, let it go. Start by thinking about what are the channels that I have available, right? Because you're going to come back to those again. And it's changed with the pandemic. There used to be great real estate by the coffee machine to let people know about things. Now you got to know the Slack channels. What are the town halls? Then you really want to understand what's your target? Who are you trying to get on this platform? If your platform is not great for data intensive workloads, know that. Figure out what language do I use to make sure I'm attracting the people who don't have those workloads right now. Give your platform and your team some kind of identity. Give them a brand. This gives people something that they can kind of anchor to when they see and hear about it again and again and again, because you're going to be doing a lot of things again and again and again. And then think about a focus group. This is kind of a way to get weirdly curious about those prospective users in a way that's very low committal for them. You're going to get to put the lab coat and the clipboard on and ask them a bunch of questions. Do you like the green tooth toothpaste or the blue toothpaste? And they may not just show up because you posted that one time in the Slack channel about, hey, I'm going to do a focus group for a platform. Come check it out. You might have to go tap people on the shoulder one at a time and really get out there, invite them in. As you start to identify who are those teams that are like, hey, this could be a really good fit for the platform. Lean in hard. Snowplow, despite what all the parenting books tell you, snowplow the way for them to be successful. Really figure it out and remove their blockers. A great example here that I think of is early days of Airbnb, people posted really crappy photos of their New York apartment, and no one really wanted to stay there. So they rented the expensive camera, and they did that work for them, and then things started turning around. And that success story, those are the ones you want to make visible. You want to share those. You want to bring those out in the town hall meetings. You want to bring them out in the Slack channels. That's going to get more people curious and confident that, hey, that platform might, might actually be worth the time to do a little effort to get my, my workload on. And then they want to be greeted with some really great documentation. This is where we're starting to turn the corner to scale. And we're going to get out of some things that are less scalable. Documentation is how you really start to scale. There's also going to be some things that are like, hey, we, we noticed with those early onboarding customers that we hit some road bumps here. Maybe we go from one to one to one to a few in a workshop to help them navigate those road bumps that complements their documentation. And then you're going to keep coming back to those channels with updates and success stories, always communicating usefully to the people that you're trying to reach about your platform, what's new, what's changed, what steps do they need to take. So as you, as you hear, you're going to have to be getting the word out at the beginning and ongoing, working one-on-one, -on -one, particularly in the early days when you're trying to build that critical mass. And you're going to want to think about what are the steps folks need to follow and start to really pave that road. So if any of this is interesting to you, you can come find me over the next evening or tomorrow. And thank you. <laughs>